Alrighty, Pisces, so this is going to be your reading for December 17th through the 24th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you are returning and if you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys do subscribe if you are new so that you can keep up with my messages whenever I do post. And yeah, this is going to go for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces. So if you do not have that placement, I would definitely check out my other videos. They would probably resonate with you better. Also, I would cross-watch if you are dealing with another sign and you want a, I guess, more in-depth reading, okay? Or understanding. Also, if you do want a more in-depth reading, you could definitely book one with me. I do have a sale going on for... Uh, a 30-minute session for $30. Uh, it will be going on until December 25th. So if you're interested in that, make sure you guys are taking advantage of that sale because after that, it will be going back to regular price. And let's get straight into your reading, guys, okay? So the first card that I have for you guys, and this is from my Absolute Affirmations deck, uh, this is going to be something that you guys can definitely take with you for the week to keep in the back of your head to go through, I guess, the week smoother. And the card that I pulled, it says, I am focused on the present, okay? And this could be taken in many, like, many ways. This card says, be completely present in every moment to appreciate what life has to offer. Breathe in the present and cherish the clarity that stems from focusing on the now. Consciously let go of the past and thoughts of the future to savor current experiences. So when I see this card, I'm feeling like you guys need to focus on, like when they say you are focused on the present, you need to focus on the good in life. You need to focus on the gifts that life has to offer you and also focusing on your gifts and focusing on how you can hone in on that and actually being present in the now and focusing on how you can rewrite your future in the now because every day we are literally rewriting our future so focusing on the present is actually focusing on the future believe it or not because what you do now is going to affect you in the future so if you put your intention your focus in what you can accomplish at this moment what you can do to help you reach your goal at this moment you would definitely be able to achieve it in a more productive way or Achieve it in a better way as well, okay? Spiritual guidance for my Pisces for December 24. Pisces, spiritual guidance for December 17. Ooh, all right. So. Two cards came out. The cards that came out, we have take a break and it says align your life. Okay. And with both of these cards, with take your break or take a break, it says a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So some of you guys are overworking yourself. Like you're 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 overworking yourself to the point of no return. And there is a need for you guys to take some sort of break here, okay? And you also need to cut some things out of your life with this card. It says, align your life. What no longer is in alignment with who you truly are? So I feel like you guys also need to be in awareness of, okay, what's not working for me anymore? Um, what do I need to kind of distance myself from? Who do I need to distance myself from? Whatever it is, okay? Because... We do outgrow people, we do outgrow situations, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the second you stay stagnant and you keep yourself stuck to it because you don't want to make other people feel bad or you don't want to, whatever it may be, you can't do that. You're only holding yourself back. And it is messed up, yes, but we do have to be forward-thinking people. And once you realize the situation is no longer good for you and is no longer serving you, you do have to release yourself from it, okay? And I'm so glad that I actually said that because at the bottom of the deck, we do have break the chain. So letting me know that you guys are needing to break some chains with people who are no longer needing to be in your life or are not fitting the script, okay? Are no longer fitting the bill. All right, give me one card for my Pisces. What's going on with them for December 17th through the 24th? Week? What is the guidance that they need for this week? Oh, 
Okay, so a card flew. It says laugh. It says, where the fuck is your sense of humor? All right, I'm going to pull one more. And it says, oh, it says you look like a shit show. You're, you're a hot mess. Fact, clean yourself up. All right, I love you, Pisces. I feel like you guys do need to take some time to laugh and take a break and just enjoy life. And be in the present, literally like the card said, like being in the moment, enjoying the gifts that life is kind of bestowing upon you right now because you may be so focused on what's going to happen in the future, what's going to happen in the future, that you're not even enjoying what's happening in the now, okay? And we have to realize a year ago, right now was the future and it's like you're not even enjoying right now, okay? You're thinking about the next moment and it's like, what if that next moment never comes? And I hate to get all preachy, but... Somebody out there would definitely understand what I'm trying to say. But um, you do need to cut some things off, guys. Like, it's reflecting in these cards as well. You need to take a break and you need to cut some people off, okay? Simple. Simple. All right, on a lighter note, let's go ahead and see what's going on with your love life. Give me one card for my single Pisces for December 17th through the 24th single Pisces and my Pisces in a relationship for December 17th through the 24th, please. Clarify. Alrighty, cool. Okay, so what I'm seeing for my Pisces who are single, I have worth waiting for and I have you deserve love. So I am seeing that divine timing is at play in your love life. Um, if you haven't received any sort of love or any love prospects, I feel like things are shifting right now to kind of work that out. And you also may need to be in awareness of, okay, the fact that you do deserve love. And if you're having issues with that, you're going to have to actually go out there and get it if that's what you want. Um, also would pay attention to the red flags. You may be needing to like observe your surroundings when it comes to maybe people that you've been encountering or what, but if you do encounter somebody, make sure that you're not, uh, overlooking anything that may be important. That may be like an issue in the long term, um, or whatever red flags may kind of raise itself. And what I'm seeing for my Pisces who are in a relationship I have make the effort and it is safe for you to love so I feel like in your connection you need to make more of an effort or somebody in your connection needs to make more of an effort if it's not you uh to kind of show the other person that okay hold on I'm here for you I'm actually here for you and I'm not just here to just be here and some of you guys may be having issues with believing that but you do need to des understand that you do deserve love again all right, so let's go ahead and get more in-depth into this spread because I want to see what's going on with you guys. We're going to go ahead and use my Kaleidodope deck to see furthermore what's popping. Pisces for December 17th through the 24th. Pisces for December 17th through the 24th, please. Pisces for December 17th, 24th. Pisces for December 17th, 24th. Okay, so first two cards, I have the Four of Coins and the Page of Swords. So I feel like you guys are having issues with opening up. You may be communicating with somebody, maybe a air sign. Or you're having petty communication back and forth with an air sign. Or you may be in a space of giving news that may be upsetting to your spouse. Or your spouse may be doing that to you, okay? Uh, that's for some of you guys. Next card, I have the eight of, eight of coins in reverse. So there may be issues with getting work put into a relationship. I have the devil card in reverse that flipped out. Cards keep flipping out. Uh, you may be needing to release yourself from something that's toxic. You may be actually doing so this week. But um, definitely a release is happening. Pisces for December 17th through the 24th. One, two, three, four, five. Alrighty. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Coins, Six of Coins in reverse, and the Three of Wands at the bottom. 
So I feel like things are really shifting. Um, there may be a lack of equal give and take within a situation here. And you may need to actually look towards the future and plan for the long term when it comes to what you're going to do. You do actually need to be structured and logical when it comes to what you're doing. Um, because I feel like you guys are really stressed right now. Uh, there may be a lot of like stressing energy between you and like the father of your kids or... Whoever you're dealing with, you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Aries, whoever, Sagittarius, whoever it may be, okay? But um, you guys are coming into this week as the Seven of Coins, okay? So, waiting. You guys could be waiting for some things financially. I'm clarifying it. I have the Empress in reverse. So, you may be having this, like, waiting energy for maybe your finance to pick up. You may be feeling a lack of abundance right now. Um, also you may be waiting for some things to kind of grant some, you're waiting for something to provide some sort of like tangible gain. Okay. Whether that's a relationship, money, whatever. But with the Empress in reverse, you may be feeling like something's not growing. Like there's no real growth and you may be coming out of this space of regret if you were upset about some things and like taking some time to think about it i am seeing that you're no longer dwelling on it and in the past i do have the ace of cups in reverse clarified by the six of swords so there was some issues going on with you guys emotionally you may have been feeling depressed or you may have had to turn down an emotional offer extended to you but overall depression i'm feeling um and you had to move to a calmer place mentally in the past and focus on your morals you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius or a relationship or a marriage that you were in um, and you may have actually gotten some sort of enlightenment within it about maybe some juggling that's going on or you had to make some sort of decisions about what you wanted to do to make you happy um, and in order for you to start something I feel like you had to stop stop some conflict with somebody what I'm seeing for the guidance, I do have the Ten of Swords here. It's clarified by the Six of Coins or Six of Cups in reverse. So I feel like you do need to end some cycles here. You do need to let a cycle of just complete like mental abuse for some of you guys or just things that were really affecting you end. Like you need to let that cycle be done with because... Um, you may be just reliving some really bad memories from your past, especially if you keep going back to somebody from your past. You really need to make sure that situation is done because I feel like it's not going to be good. Um, and if you have kids with this person, same thing. All right. I feel like you need to get your your emotions in check and get a sense of self-fulfillment. Alrighty, so what I'm seeing for the focus and reason for this week, guys, I have the lovers in reverse, clarified by the page of coins in reverse. So a relationship here is not even, like, built on any real solid, like, planning, anything, okay? Uh, you may be coming out of a relationship like that, and just waiting for things to get better, okay? Trying to get your happiness, Focusing on your children. Um, but what I am seeing with the outcome, I do have the magician clarified by the hermit. So the hermit came right back out. So you guys are going to be taking some time to manifest new opportunities, trying to manifest and going within to figure out how you're going to do so. Uh, you may also be in a space of regret, but I feel like you do need to focus on the future and not focus it on the past so that you can get growth. All right. And also you guys may be focusing on your family. But definitely feeling a sense of loss or leaving some things out here. So let's see what's going on with the cross watcher. What's going on with my Pisces cross watcher partner or person in question for December 17th to the 24th, please. What's going on with my Pisces cross watch? Whoa. Oh my gosh. Pisces cross watcher partner. Whoa. Okay. So nine of pentacles came out. It's Perkis. Perkis. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting super like tongue tied right now, guys. But with the nine of coins coming out, 
This person is focused on their finances. They may be in a space of just trying to get to a better place financially, especially since you guys did split or if you guys are not in a relationship. They're going within about what they want to do moving forward. Uh, they're trying to figure themselves out. And they also may be in a space of trying to manifest some new opportunities for themselves as well. Um, they feel as if like they have this very hot and cold energy. When it comes to this connection, like one minute they're passionate about it, the next second they are really not sure. Especially if you guys just have sex with each other, I'm going to be real. Um, with the hangman coming out, this person's also not really making any moves due to the fact they're they're really trying to see what to do like they're waiting for some sort of enlightenment all right especially if you're dealing with the air sign they're operating from their logical standpoint they feel like this may be a burden when it comes to this marriage or this commitment so they're not making a decision because they're too in their head and they're trying to they're trying to get their happiness back they feel like this relationship is not providing the emotional fulfillment that they need. They feel like somebody's emotionally immature and it looks like you guys, okay? Um, but with the death card here, I really feel like they want to end the situation and just go towards new territory. And they're coming out of their head and focusing on their success overall. Okay, yeah, queen of coins. This person's focused on their, their money and they're walking away from things that don't make them happy and moving forward. Alrighty, so that's pretty much what I'm seeing. I hope that I was able to help someone out there. If this reading did resonate with you, make sure that you do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you, Pisces, in your next reading. Bye, guys.